Who is King Sean? You too, what's up? It's Who is King Sean, and we're back again with another banger. Today, we're going to be on a serious note. Yes, you see the thumbnail. A uh, young lady had some fraud done to her and lost $30,000. I'm explain what happened, right? Um, I did the last video about a week ago on Navy Federal shutting down accounts because people are doing fraud, people are using CPNs, people are doing all kinds of things right now, right? So you've seen the video, she was impacted, she reached out to me through my website. Um, I felt her story, I got on the phone with her, we talked, I tried to convince her to do a FaceTime call, to do a Zoom because her story can help another person, right? Um, she said if she would have did that, people would have seen her face. Um, she's known where she live at in Chicago, um, and she just didn't want people to know what was going on. She, you know, she's young, she's scared, and I understand. So she said, but I was able to tell her story, you know. Um, so what happened was she got involved, just to fast forward, with a guy, probably a couple months. He, could, he convinced her to open up a Navy Federal. He had a Navy Federal. Uh, which was use, him using a CPN, first of all, with two different names. Uh, he brainwashed her, convinced her, whatever way, to open up account, use his ID to open up the account, which he's using a CPN um, at the time, right? So she opened up the account. She's trying to build a relationship. She actually applied for two credit cards. She applied for the cash reward. Um, she got approved and she applied for the platinum card. Once she got those cards, he convinced her that if she liquidate the cards, um, he could flip the money. You know, he can invest it and um, they can make some money. Um, she believed them. She was in a relationship probably roughly about 90 days, three months with him. Um, once she liquidated the card, whichever way she did it, um, was handed over to the young man. Once he got the money, he disappeared. Once he disappeared, she tried to contact him. She tried to, at the end of the day, he's using a CPN. So she probably don't even know his actual real name. Uh, she, all she know is the name that he was using to open up the accounts under the CPN. Um, she tried to contact him. She went to some, you know, so-called family members house that she know, you know, that he was related to. Um, no answer. People said, you know, he haven't been around. Um, basically the day she handed over the $30,000 to this guy, he disappeared and it's been about nine days. And, um, she was on the phone. She was crying. She was frustrated. She's 21 years old and $30,000 is gone between two credit cards with Navy federal. Um, you know, so I need everybody to, if you are young and you don't really understand what's going on. Please do not be um, involved with people that are using CPNs. This is illegal, this is fraud, and you will be going to jail if you're caught. I need you to understand that. And um, young women, young men, you know, and her being 21 years old, um, you know, he pretty much, you know, brainwashed her, whatever, convinced her, whatever it may be. I don't know, I'm going off her story. So. Um, again, please, people, um, be aware. Um, don't have anybody convincing you to um, get funding from certain banks, especially Navy Federal. Everybody's trying to uh, be a member of Navy Federal and to liquidate these credit cards and hand over thirty thousand dollars to a person. And as you give it to him, the next day he's gone and vanished. Nine days later, he's nowhere to be found. Fraud is at the all time high right now, people. And I need people to be aware of what's going on. This is crazy. My heart goes out to her because at 21 years old, um, 30,000, if he's gone uh, and disappeared, you know, obviously he's using different names, CPNs and all, you know, whatever else he got going on. Um, she probably never will see him again. And she's going to be stuck with that $30,000 debt on the card. She can't afford to pay it back or anything. So it's going to be forced to go on collection. So again, people, um, please be aware of what's going on with these different banks, especially with Navy Federal. Navy Federal is cracking down. It's going to be eventually. It's going to be 
hard to even join. Um, it, believe me, it's going to get very difficult. I just wanted to come by and tell her story. She told me I could tell her story. She was very scared to, um, to do the FaceTime call. I wish she would have because um, people could really see uh, what's going on. Again, get in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. But for now, I'm up out of here. Peace.